Good afternoon, everybody. How are you? Sorry for the delay getting started. We're having issues being live on Facebook today. So it looks like we're just going to be on YouTube live. But what I'll do is um, I will give people a little more of a chance to catch up. So I'll announce the competition, the giveaway that we always do right towards the very end. So fingers crossed, all of those that usually watch on Facebook have chance to come over to YouTube and watch us. But today we have a live launch. So we are looking at brand new product from Paper Discovery. Absolutely beautiful, this one. Possibly one of my favorites. I have a top in celebration. It's all about tropical world. So we're talking about gorgeous tropical flowers. We're talking about tropical animals as well, the birds or feathered friends. Beautiful imagery. So we've got deals on this, of course, being the launch on Craft Sash. Go along to craftstash.co.uk or craftstash.us. You'll be able to see everything there including this brand new collection. So this will be on the home screen. You'll be able to see a banner with it, so you can click there, go straight to it. Alternatively, there should be a comment pinned that will take you straight to the products as well. But they're starting from just $7.99. Um, and you know what, one of my favorite items in here is one of the $7.99 items. So I would be throwing that in as a weekend treat for myself. That'll be next week before it gets there, but you know. <laughs> so do you want to take a look at this? Because we've also got a lot more going on um, with paper discovery as well, which I'll talk to you about throughout the hour. So, excuse my glasses there. There we go. Oh, they've just gone, they've completely gone over the side of the desk now, so there's no chance of me getting those back. I'll have to manage on without them. So we have got, first of all, this is the standout piece for Tropical World. Um, it's absolutely stunning, isn't it? Now, I'm just hoping that uh, on YouTube that you've found us all okay. Let's just check the comments and see where you all are. Um, oh, happy birthday, Rena. Um, I hope you're having a lovely day. I don't know what the weather's like for you, but it's gorgeous here. Um, we've got lots of people commenting, so I can see that you can see me. Hopefully some of you have made it over from Facebook as well, because it just didn't want to connect there today. It's obviously gone off for an early weekend break, I'm guessing. If you prefer to watch through Facebook, I will be uploading this video over there as soon as we've finished, okay? So this is the standout piece for Tropical World. It's so pretty. It's a huge, huge die. You're actually getting three dies in here. Let's just pop this out of the packaging. What does this get stuck at the bottom? There we go. It's because, look, it's because I've been using it and I've left a bit of tape on there. That will stick it to the packaging, Lou. You need to realize that. Tape sticks. Look at this. It's absolutely stunning. And do you know what? And this sounds like an obvious statement, but it's really not. This is, it cuts so, so well. You'd always think that a die like this with this much detail and such a big size, you're gonna have to run it through eight, 10 times to get it cut, but it really doesn't, it cuts beautifully. I don't know whether it's maybe the angle of the pieces, I'm not sure. Um, Hello to, I've seen some comments coming through. Uh, oh yes, Fairy Craft says I've got a very appropriate top. I did choose it especially, thank you very much. And Susie Bradley, thank you for saying you love my top. Now with this set, you do get this die. I'll demonstrate that later. I'll cut that for you to show how well it cuts. You also get the outline die as well. So if you want to make shaped cards, you can do that. And also included in here, you get this panel. Now this is just a, simply a panel with a score line down it. So you can use that solid outline to create a shaped card base. And then you can use this to put the hinges, to create a hinge if you want to. You could actually cut three or four of these with the outline and then have a concertina fold card. This looks beautiful because it looks a little bit like a uh, sort of an art deco feel. I mean, a massive, it's called a glass house. So you imagine it's like a big glass house full of all of your tropical ferns and things. But do you know what? Think of Bridgerton. Think of uh, having those gorgeous, gorgeous, I want to say parties, but balls, aren't they? The celebrations in somewhere like this. Think about churches as well and cathedrals. It could be a bit like a stained glass piece. But alternatively, you can snip this as well. Look at that top half, all that gorgeous sort of sunburst effect. I'm spending a long time on one die here because I absolutely love this. 
Um, it would make a nice page for a junk journal, Miss Stationery and stuff. Yes, it really would. This is actually going to be quite nice today. I've only got to worry about looking at comments in one place. <laughs> uh, but we do miss our Facebook friends as well. Look at what you can be creating with this. Isn't it gorgeous? The doors do open, but of course you could glue those shut if you didn't want to. And that is that shaped card base there. And then another one, not in the white, but instead with a bronzed effect. So it looks like metal work. So that's the first piece in the Tropical World collection. Now, we've got, um, if, if tropical isn't your thing, we have got online, I'll give you a quick hint about it now. There's up to, there's 40% off of some selected items that are old paper discovery. I say old, older. We're calling them classic. We're being polite and calling them classic paper discovery products. If you go along to Craft Stash, you'll be able to find those there. There's a selection of them. If you simply go through the banners on the home screen, you'll see 40% off of selected items. You'll need the code. The code is PD40. So pop that in to get 40% off of some previous paper discovery. One of my favorite ever in Boston folders that Olga designed is in that selection as well. I think it's the first one when you go through there as well. Look at these. Now these are something that need to be seen completed I think. As a stamp this just doesn't do it justice. They are beautiful. So two A6 solid background stamps. Not solid but full background stamps. Lots of detail in them. So we're looking at this one is purely foliage. So you can colour into that if you really wanted to and you love fussy cutting you could go in and cut all of those leaves out and then we also have the beautiful florals as well gorgeous gorgeous flowers absolutely huge flowers in there but some foliage as well so you can really get your pinks your corals your teals your greens all of those lovely bright colors in there lots you can do with that take a quick look so there's the there's the florals look at that for a background stamp this is probably the quickest card I've made this year and yet one of the most beautiful it's simply stamping that stamp in gold there and then popping a layer over the top. The paper I've stamped on will come to in a little while as well. It's included in the collection. Uh, they are such intricate stamps, Judith. They really are. Now, these are very similar cards. They'd sort of be part of a set, but slightly different because I've used uh, different colours, just additional blue here, and different sentiments as well. But these are that foliage stamp, as you can see with the ferns. They just work so well with those sorts of colours. And then this one has been created by the lovely Katie Skilton. Thank you very much, Katie. And Katie's a big fan of doing this sort of blocking or uh, blocking the image so it almost looks like you're looking through a window at it so you've got the sections it's like a jigsaw piece type thing but it just works really well and she's actually used different colors on that one stamped image there the blues and the greens lots of blues and greens in with this collection today so we've then got the sentiment stamps you've seen these through some of the cards already but these are just so unique they're absolutely beautiful so you've got things like lost in paradise life is better with plants so it's my daughter's birthday next month and she's 16 going on 17 and you know what she's definitely into her plants whether they're faux ones or whether they're real she's got a cactus succulent she's got all sorts of plants she's trying to keep alive some house plants at the moment and it's going pretty well considering so uh, I'm definitely going to be doing her a card with that on then we've got wild and free enjoy every moment so sorry I missed your birthday I need that quite a few times a year usually party time relax and enjoy oh look if friends were flowers I would pick you 100% that is gorgeous so you've got your gorgeous sentiments there but then you've also got the toucan you've got the house plant there I call it house plant because it's in a pot so I'm assuming but it could be like a veranda or something and then you've got this beautiful sort of hibiscus flower I don't know if I'm saying that right feel like it is but we'll see look at that look what you can be doing I mean we're looking at the sentiment here but then I'm looking in the background and looking at those leaves because we're coming up to those next really really simple cards i hope you're getting lots of inspiration just from these cards alone but i do have some demonstrations to do as well again this is by katie that paper in the background really makes this now this is using if i come to these these stamps also come with the dies they come as a combo so you buy one you're getting the other one as well they come kind of wrapped together so you've got the florals here again beautiful designs really delicate really really intricate absolutely stunning but then you get the outline dies as well and what katie's done she's actually just used the outline dies on this one she's used the sentiment stamp as well that's that life is better with plants in fact 
I wonder if I could just borrow this for my daughter. So I've been making her a card. As if I would, I really wouldn't. I will make her a card, it will be extra special. But what I'm saying is, look, you've got die cuts here. No stamping involved here at all. So you can see the shapes are actually still quite intricate so you can make out what they are. So that is a lovely card there from Katie. And as well, using those florals there, the floral stamps, and you've got the sentiment, Lost in Paradise, Heat in Boston Black there. Doesn't it go well with the background paper? We are going to come to that background paper in a moment. I want to show you as much inspiration as is possible. Fingers crossed some of you from who usually watch on YouTube have joined us, managed to find us over here. Hello to you. Uh, hello to Ursula, to Teresa, to Trish. Uh, Rena, yes, Rena, it's your birthday today. Yay. Uh, to Elaine as well, Anita Snell. Uh, Fifi Stamper, um, I think I've already spoken to you, but if not, hello. Hello to Cheryl Thomas and Judith Barkley. Lots of you watching. So these birds are stunning. Something a little bit different. A little, little bit tropical, a lot tropical. You are definitely talking about your spring and summer cards here, aren't you? I think some of these you could be colouring in to be other types of birds. I mean, you've got your hummingbird there. You've got your toucan, your parrot as well. This is beautiful. Look at the tail feathers on this one. And then we've got the gorgeous two birds here. Now, this is a parrot or something similar to a parrot. But this one here... It's kind of sitting on a cage. So you could really do it for any type of bird sitting on a fence or something in a garden. And then you've got the bird in flight as well. So you can be using these, I think, for lots of different occasions. And then you've got florals and foliage here too. And of course, you do get the outline dies with them as well. Now the outline die packet always looks smaller than the actual stamps, but they're not. They're the same size. So they're going to outline those. Again, I'm going to show you. We might make this card a little bit later, something a little bit different. So we've got the parrots there, or in, I suppose you call them parrots, macaws, in flight. Depends how you colour them, doesn't it? And wild and free. A little bit of an inky background to that one. This is beautiful. Now this again is $7.99. That's all, just $7.99. You're going to adore these. Now this is my own pad and I've been using it a lot. So I might have to go through a fair bit just to be able to get all the uh I'll show you all the papers but let's decide there's a dog barking outside i think you might be able to hear that down the microphone you may not um but he's definitely there and he's getting very excited <laughs> maybe he's barking at the parrots my dog barks at birds does anyone else have a jack russell or jack russell cross that's what he is he loves to bark at the birds in the garden so we've got, look at those colours, we've got the deep, deep blues, the bright reds, the beautiful florals in there as well, lots of detail in there. And then we've got the toucans in with the pink flowers. These look like stunning wallpapers that you get, very modern, very contemporary designs. You're seeing these sort of patterns in home decor, you're seeing them in fashion at the moment, within jewellery and all sorts, aren't you? I'm just trying to make sure I show you a different sheet every time. Look at the colours in that. You could pick any one of those colours to be your focal point, couldn't you? Matte and layer with that colour and create your sentiment box from those colours. This is beautiful. Now, this one, you've really got a lot of depth, considering it's actually, at first glance, it's quite a solid colour. But you've got so, so much depth in there. Um, who just said they wouldn't want to use them because that's exactly... Uh, there we go, Kathleen, Kathleen Baker said she wouldn't want to use the papers. I know, it's been really hard. I think this is actually my last sheet possibly of this one. Uh, I did have two, two packs here. I'm going through them very quickly. But use them definitely with any craft item. I'd definitely say use them because, I mean, what else are you going to do with them? except sit and stroke them. They're single sided, so you haven't got to worry about wasting a printed side when you use them. This is lovely. This kind of leaves you space, doesn't it? Through the middle to stamp, to put elements without overcrowding everything. It's almost a ready-made card there, just with a sentiment in the middle. And then we're coming back. Is that six designs? I think it is. I believe, so. oh no, I believe. I just saw one that I haven't shown you. This one, look at this. Isn't that just so pretty? Kind of reminds me, and I know we're going off theme here a little bit, but my son was massively into dinosaurs and that big dinosaur film where they've made three, four of them. I don't know how many now. Um, you could pop a T-Rex in there, couldn't you? And it would totally not look out of place. So 
definitely be bringing these into other themes as well. So they are all the papers. I'm not sure where my front sheet is there, but we'll pop them all back because we want to get to, oh, there it is. We want to get to demonstrating. So they're A5. They are, I believe they're 190 GSM, so a really good weight as well. Perfect for your matting and for your layering. So hello again to everybody who's just joining us. If you've just come over from Facebook, we're having some issues over on Facebook today, but we're here on YouTube instead. And I will post this video over to Facebook as well if you prefer to look there. But I would say jump on this collection really quickly. If you're into anything tropical like that, um, pop over to craftstash.co.uk or craftstash.us because we do ship all over the world and find the new paper discovery tropical world. You've got items there from just $7.99. Now I am going to be doing a giveaway today. I'm going to give it probably about another 20 minutes before I announce how to enter because I want to make sure as many people as possible have founders from over on Facebook, okay? And then you'll have about another 20 minutes to enter, so we'll do that. So, should we get on with demonstrating? Let's come on down. I've just brought you back, but come on down to my desk because I'm going to just pop these out, out of the way. Where should we start? Now, let's start, I think, with the beautiful papers. Now, I'm going to use, let's, I'm going to use this sheet. And what I've already done here is I've started preparing this but I've already cut that. Now, I've taken a teal, and in fact, there isn't actually a teal in the papers, but it works. It just, there's so many colors. I could have used mats and layers for the green, the pink, the coral, the oranges, the yellows even, any color I wanted to. Even a brownie sort of fawn color there would have worked. But I chose to go with something completely different. And like I say, it's that teal color and aqua, and it's so beautiful. Now this is, because people always ask me, so I'm just going to turn around and show you the cardstock that I've used, because we have this on um, Craft Stash as well. So it's from Tonic, it's Craft Perfect cardstock, and it's the ocean blue. It is probably one of my most favorite colors ever, or at the moment, in cardstock. There is a slightly darker teal as well, which I adore, also from the same brand. But you can see you can get all your card stock, you can get all your card bases, all your adhesives, everything at Craft Stash. So while you're putting in your orders for your new products, your new launches, whatever it may be, treating yourself to paper discovery, um, go and check out the essentials as well because there's often deals on them as well. Now, a top tip for you, one of my favourite items that have been released okay they're both here so favorite two items is the stamping platform an absolute essential go and have a look at that as well that's from the creative craft products range and again from creative craft products is this and it's so simple whenever i'm die cutting whether it's facebook lives or whether it's uh, youtube or um on create and craft for example i always get asked what tape am i using to hold my dies still because they don't the tape is a low tack so it doesn't peel off my paper afterwards and I can you see I've got it on my machine. I use it over and over and over again. Uh, it's this one. It's the Creative Craft Products tape. This comes three rolls in the pack and a tape dispenser and it's literally pocket money sort of price. So go and have a look at that as well. The packaging design is it's basic because it is a basic tool that you're just going to keep stocking up on a time and time again. But three rolls in there, that will do you quite a while. So there's my top tips for today on essentials. So let's get back to making this card. So I've taken some nesting dies. Nesting dies are so helpful, aren't they? Now, I could have used square nesting dies as well, but I didn't. I actually hand cut with my trimmer the edges here. But the first thing I did is I cut my circle into this panel because I wanted to make sure my circle was central. So I used the nesting die for that. I then put... I cut this down to size, the square shape, and that was kind of guided by the width of the paper. I then brought the height down to match it to make a square because I knew I was going on to a square base. I then cut my solid piece of cardstock so that it was just slightly bigger. So I cut around the edge of the teal, and then I used a smaller nesting die, laid this over, and positioned that on the teal so I knew I got it exactly in the center. So that's going to be going in there like that. Now what I've also done is I've started stamping some florals. 
Now these florals are from one of the sets that I just showed you. So it's not the Feathered Friends, it's the, I believe it's Foliage. I'm just going to check the name. It is the Foliage Stamp and Die Set. So I've stamped, as you can see, these three times. I think actually I do need to do one more. So I'm just going to grab a piece of paper because I like to, I want to just show you how I've coloured these in rather than just say, these are ones I've already done. So just using my stamp platform. This is actually a new one. I've, well, I've got a couple and this is one I very, very rarely use. So it's still classed as new and it's clean as well. Um, let's see, foliage. So here we go. So this has the florals. It also has lovely greenery as well. So if you want to build up a card just with the greenery, you can do that. Now this card, uh, or sorry, stamp has been used lots already. But, so it's gonna leave a little bit of a mark there. But I'm going to use my Memento ink. There's Tuxedo Black. You could stamp with perhaps um, like a grey or a pale brown or something like that, just to make the outline a little less obvious. And then do that's particularly if you're going to be colouring in. So you kind of get the no colouring, no line look with your colouring. That's a really fun effect. Something fun to do. Um, usually, uh, Judith Barclay, she says, usually she has no problems using paper, but uh, these look far look good enough to frame. They do, don't they? They're absolutely stunning. So look at that. Beautiful image. Everything has got so much detail in it every stamped image and you should see the birds as well the birds in flight are gorgeous so let's just pop that there and i have colored these in using i've got a mix of alcohol pens now i believe that you do not have to restrict yourself to one brand of alcohol coloring pen the same with your watercolors whether it be paints or inks um, or pens, whatever you're using. I think you can mix and match as long as you're sticking to alcohol-based or water-based. So sometimes you'll see me use Copic, sometimes you'll see me use Chameleon, and sometimes it will be like the Spectrum Noir pens. Um, I really do go by which has the right color and the right nib that I want for the project. So for this one, I'm going to take, I'll just do one flower just to show you how easy it is to make them look blended and coloured in. So I'm taking uh, Spectrum Noir. Now these have digits on them to tell you what which colour they are. I mean they've got names as well. So I've got Silk and Coral. But this one is CR1 and CR5. Now I've also got here CR3. Okay so these would go in a line. As you can see they get lighter. But that kind of means that I'm going to get that blend. If I want to do this absolutely perfectly, particularly if it was a larger spaced image, so, and I was colouring in a larger area, I would definitely go in, well, I'd even maybe go in with my CR2 and CR4 in the middle of these and blend each colour into the other. But because it's such a small area, I'm going to take out my CR3 and just use CR1 and CR5. Okay, so the light and the dark. I'm going to start by putting down the, oh, wrong one. I'm going to start by putting down the dark. And I'm going to use the small nib on the end there and I'm just going to do little flicks from the center of the flower there just little flicks that's all I'm doing nothing uh, too artistic there we go and now I'm going to take my light one now I can go in with my small nib or I can go in with my larger one for this I'm just going to basically color over the entire petal with this so the light area that needs coloring in and then just work in little circles, I'm just going to work over the edge of the darker ink there and that will just blend it down because the alcohol in the fresh ink you're putting down will react with the alcohol that was in the previous ink and it will just break that down and blend it out nicely. So really, really quick and easy to get some lovely blended florals. I would definitely use, depending on which brand you're using, but use the colour system, the numbers, however, whatever way they've got of letting you know which colours go with which, which are darker tones of others. So hopefully you can see there we've got darker through to lighter. And as I said, here's two that I've already coloured and cut. And then I've got one more that I need to die cut out. So I just need to do that. I haven't gone in too much detail when it comes to uh, doing the centres. The leaves are just one colour as well, just one of green. 
let me see just catching up on the comments while I'm getting this out um, oh you use glitter gel pens for coloring in things that's lovely uh, and you don't have any alcohol pens it's you don't have to get them I mean I think we sometimes feel like we need everything on the craft market and everything that other people are using but really if you're if you want to experiment and have a try with them definitely do but if you have another coloring medium that you're happy to use and you enjoy using uh, and are comfortable with then you know stick with that I don't see any problem as long as you're creating the projects that you want to create that's the main thing so I'm just sticking my tape and this is the low tack tape from craft stash I'm just sticking that mostly over the outside edge rather than in the middle and then I'm going to bring in my machine so oh here we go now this is a big big shot so it's the big shot plus don't really need a die cutting machine as big as this for this project but it's on my desk and I've actually got this ready for when we do that glass house die I'm really looking forward to cutting that and showing you how stunning that is there we go see that cuts that out absolutely perfectly so if some of you haven't seen before the way that you can line up your dies and your stamps and particularly talking about these sorts of stamps and dies that work together so we've got our foliage and we've also got our feathered friends as well that come with the outline dies so just to show you how you can set up yourself masks you may have seen this already but little tip in case you haven't just die cut each of your outline shapes into a scrap of paper I just put that die away didn't I I'm going to need that to come back out again here we go and then you can save that that was just uh that was an embossing powder bottle or it's big tub actually just went flying uh, so once you've got your stamped image and you're ready to cut it out all you need to do is line this up should have done it in a different paper just line that up over the top of the stamped image until it's exactly where you want it okay and then you can pop your die slot your die back in to that top layer and you can pop these two down now dies will generally cut through two layers of cardstock or paper very easily that way you know you're going to get your cutting edge exactly where you want it a nice even white line or, or whatever color line all the way around the edge because sometimes there's nothing worse is there than stamping perfectly coloring perfectly being really happy with something die cutting and then it goes slightly off to the edge when you die cut this way you're going to make sure you you know where the edges are going to be so a little tip for you just add that into today's show and um, don't forget we've got 40 percent off of older paper discovery products everybody so um lots and lots of bargains to be had there Go and grab yourself a bargain actually because it's Friday. <laughs> That's the only reason, just because it's a Friday. So we are now going to need a sentiment for this before I start constructing anything. So let's take, uh, what should we do? Do you know what? I think if friends were flowers, I would pick you. I really like this sentiment. Let me see. Um, right so we're, somebody's querying the code so the code pd40 is on some selected paper discovery elements and they're actually what we call classic paper discovery so there's some older items that you can use the code pd40 on um, you can't use that code on the new items so if you go to craftstash.co.uk uh, on the home screen where you have those banners that scroll sort of every five seconds a new one comes up something like that um, I think it's the second banner along will have the 40% off deal if you click on that banner whilst it's up there it will take you it will link you straight to the products that are in that selected 40% off okay hopefully that will help by the way that 40% is for the weekend did I tell you that don't know if I told you that I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you that but definitely uh, tell to so tell your friends but if you're going to be making a, an order for the brand new paper discovery, you may as well, of course, throw in some reduced at the same time. So who is there purchasing the Tropical World or have you done so already this morning when it first launched? Who's grabbing them and putting them in their basket? Let us know in the comments. 
Uh, I'm just now I've already placed my stamp around inside of my mats and layers there but I'm also just using this to make sure it's straight because we've got guidelines on the stamping platform now this is a stamp that I've not stamped yet already um, I don't think I have anyway so I'm going to take my pencil eraser and I'm just going to er erase over I'm just going to rub the flat side over the stamp I always do this you've probably seen me do this lots of times before it just takes any of that manufacturing process off there for you um hello right I just saw my name I'm trying to keep up with the <laughs> trying to keep up with all the comments oh Lou your tip about using the die template has been a lifesaver for me wonderful idea and I keep them with my dies brilliant Beth Rogers thank you so much I'm really glad that um that's been helpful for you so and also like I say erasing the um, that that coating that's on your stamps erasing that off with just a household rubber a pencil eraser that's all you need with this stamp platform what I love is that I don't have to get really really pressing it down I can just do little taps and that will make sure everywhere's covered look at that gorgeous okay so I've just actually cleaned out my craft hoe you know the, the the craft tote this actually a travel one and I take it to studios with me and things like that I just cleaned it out this morning so now I'm taking my time and making sure everything goes back where, where it should so it probably seems a little bit slower today um, where's my sentiments I'm going to pop this back as well keeping everything nice and tidy I did Hoover the studio this morning as well so it's all clean makes a change I don't do it for months on end to be fair bits of paper everywhere most of the time there we go so um let me see this is stationery and stuff there's been some really fab deals on craft stash this week I especially love when they have magazines on offer yes we do often have magazine deals because we we produce those in-house so we are able to give you um massive deals on them much better deals than say somewhere else would say like your supermarket for example now I'm using craft stash foam tape this is a really really thick foam tape and wide as well so deep I think it's supposed the depth rather than thickness I should say really nice deep foam tape I use them along the two edges fully and then just little bits along the edges of this circle here where it's thinner this is going to give this card lots of depth have you ever made I'd love to know everybody have you ever made a card with a tropical feel before will you make cards with the tropical theme as well um let me see well done Lou oh is that for tidying up thank you very much <laughs> I just say it so that you'll all congratulate me on tidying <laughs> we need someone to no one else comes in here so I need someone to to notice and say oh good job look at that just double checking because there we go I'm going to have to turn that now because I have accidentally spun round my mat so it's worth checking before you stick and then going back down with some double-sided tape again now are you ready to find out how you could potentially win over a hundred or your share okay let's get this right your share of over 158 pounds worth of the brand new tropical world collection it's really simple all we're going to ask for you to do this week is to tag your friends so um, and if you could just write in your comment why you're tagging that friend as well that would be really nice so um, if you don't have crafty friends as such that you can tag now I understand we're on YouTube tagging is a little bit harder all we would ask you to do is just put your friend's name okay um, you can try tagging on there with the at sign sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so on YouTube if you just write your friend's name could be somebody who is watching now you can maybe get together with someone say let's let's tag each other and be in with a chance of winning that kind of gives you two chances to win then it could be someone who's maybe not watching but you know that they're on YouTube however it may be I will or I won't actually Hillary is watching in the background um, and she's probably eating her lunch right now watching because it's lunchtime <laughs> and she's going to choose me at random somebody who's tagged a friend in the comments at the end of this hour okay so that person and the friend tagged will then both win a selection of the brand new tropical world products um, and then there will be a third chance to win as well which I will send you over to at the end of the hour there's always lots of chances to win now how many of you watching now have won something from craft stash in the past 
I'd love to know. Um, <laughs> Joanne Talbot has said, can I come, come, up, can I come and tidy your house? Do you know what? I do actually really enjoy housework. Some, okay, let's put that into context. If I've got a day off and I start spring cleaning or doing some DIY or something, I really enjoy it. I don't particularly enjoy the everyday thing like the washing up and the ironing. But you know when you get a really good spring clean going? And then what me and my daughter did, at, uh, on I had a day off on Wednesday, we went to the homewares shops and we bought decor, new things, new cushions, for example, a couple of new air fresheners, things like that, a nice clean house. Then you go and get a few accessories for it and make it look extra special. That is an ideal day for me. Half a day spring cleaning, half a day shopping, and then the evening looking back at how well you've done. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to lastly finish off this car because there's so much more I want to show you by popping these flowers over the top here, just creating um, this kind of semicircle of florals around there. Aren't they just so, so pretty? Now, you could do a lot more. Beverly Miller won the Teacup Fairy Collection. Well done. Uh, Mitzi Bagpur, she won back the price of her order. Oh, that must have been a little while ago. I don't remember that one. But do you know what? There's so many chances to win on Craft Stash on social media all the time. Make sure you're signed up to. So subscribe to YouTube. Make sure you check the community tab as well. Lots. Uh, we have a blog with competitions. We have Craft World competitions all the time. And we also have Facebook competitions. So be sure to be on as many of those platforms as possible. Um, and you'll see the posts come up. This is lovely as well, look at this. If you want a really soft watercolour look, use a thin cardstock for your stamping. When you colour with your alcohol pens, it wouldn't work necessarily with your water-based pens. With your alcohol pens, the colour comes through and look, you get a really soft watercolour effect and it may be a look that you love. So uh, it's another one to try while I just saw that. <laughs> and let's pop this one in there can go there and then this one in the middle here and they've kind of got a bit of a curve to them as well I want to avoid just there if the, the word if I don't want to cover that up these are the pink frog glue applicators I think they were out of stock but keep an eye because I'm sure they'll soon be back in so there's the first card now that is not necessarily tropical as such so you could send this for lots of different occasions it could be something for summer for example maybe it could be um for a wedding if someone's really going bright with their colors you know but definitely take the inspiration and that floral stamp alone is you're just going to keep using that time and time again so let's just do a very quick recap for those who are just joining us i hope you found us from facebook um if not, I am going to be posting the video over there a little bit later. And we always do recap demonstrations as well over the weekend from the Friday Live on YouTube. So make sure you hit that subscribe button on YouTube too to keep up to date with all of those. So we're looking at the brand new Tropical World from Paper Discovery. Now this is a beautiful collection of stamps and dies and papers as well. And they all coordinate so well. So we've had some beautiful examples already, but items are starting from just $7.99. That's an absolute bargain. In fact, that gorgeous paper pack is just $7.99. It's stunning, so, so stunning. If you don't get to see it in the next demonstrations, I'll try and flip through it again at the end to show you again. And then we've also got another offer where you're going to be able to get 40% off of some classic paper discovery also. So these are items that are what we would call older collections of Olga's um, and you can find those on Craft Stash. You're going to need the code PD40 and this is selected products. So what you need to do is go to the home screen on Craft Stash where you do your shopping, craftstash.co.uk or craftstash.us. Find the banners at the top, scroll through all of today's offers and things that are happening and launches. I believe it's the second banner that will scroll through. It will say 40% off paper discovery, PD40. You'll see that, click on that. So it's not just to view, you can click on it. It will take you to a page with all of those products that are involved in that offer. Okay, so get yourself 40% off of some paper discovery. And I believe that offer is running for a few days. 
So shall we take a look at the glass house die set now? Because this is the one, I'm just going to show you in my hands here, this is the big one. It's absolutely beautiful. So come on down, let's take a look at this one. So the glass house die is huge. It is A5 in size. We've got the detail and then we've got the outer cutting line as well. So you can create shaped cards using this die. This will cut into your cardstock, but it's not going to cut the outer edge. It's just going to cut that detail inside, which I'm going to show you here. So you do need your larger cutting machines. It will just about squeeze through uh, what I would call an A5 die cutting machine. But if you, like me, if you like to twist and turn your dies to ensure that every little piece has been reached whilst being cut, it's a good idea to go for the A4 size. Included in the die set, you also have a hinge die, so you can put two pieces together and create a shaped card. Now, I've just put my low-tack tape on. That's a craft, uh, creative craft products, products there. It's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? And let's run this through. So like I said, today I've got my Big Shot with me. This is my Big Shot Plus. So it is uh, an A4 sized machine. And I always die cut on the diagonal like so. I don't tend to die cut straight. This just means that I get more of the angles. But to be honest, with this particular um, die, you've got so many different angles in there. You're going to, you're going to be able to get a nice cut all the way through. So I always run it forwards and backwards, and then I tend to just twist a big dies like this. I just twist them about 45 degrees maybe, and then I go through again. So I can already see that I've got lots of little bits there coming. Look at all this static. And I hoovered this morning as well. Oh dear, never mind. The hoover's still there actually. So what I'm going to do now, you can just see through the plate, I'm going to pop it in again, but I'm going to put it in at the other angle. So I put it in this way last time. So now I'm going to just twist it slightly. And that's just enough. So if there's any areas in there that didn't quite get cut last time because the pressure was shared amongst too much of the die, this way you will capture it all. I really am a clean crafter, so all, all these little bits, they drive me crazy. Now, if you don't like little bits like me, you can put your dies and your paper inside a poly pocket. You know, remember when you were at school and you had the folders and you had the plastic folders to go inside your fold, ring binders, for example. Um, that is a poly, what I call a poly pocket. You can put you, everything, all of this inside one of those. And the better quality ones actually work better than the uh, value ones but they tend to pretty much hold the plastic together as they go through and it will keep everything inside. Now, as you can see, most of this has already cut through. Um, I just saw Cheryl Thomas just commented, Louise, you can tag me if you like. Um, I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't enter. It's a different Louise. I think we've got a few on here, haven't we? Um, there, there's a few Louise and that is my proper name. That's what my mother calls me. <laughs> Somebody called me Louise the other day and it shocked me. Oh, that was all right. It was my boss who's never called me Louise in her life. So I thought I was in trouble. Look at that. I haven't even got my pokey tool out and all of those pieces have gone through. Now, this cardstock was probably around about, I'm going to guess about 200 GSM. So I'm not going through a thin paper or anything like that. How stunning is that? Absolutely beautiful. So you have that, and then if you wanted to, you could take the outline die and you could cut that, but it looks like a, do you know what, it reminds me of Grand Central Station or somewhere like that, doesn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. Um, Mrs. Stationery and stuff, she still uses Polly Pockets as well. Lots and lots, of, isn't that gorgeous? Now you could cut this down as well, so I'm just going to do that because I'm not actually going to be making a card with this today. We've got a few examples, so you can trim this. Can do it with your trimmer or your scissors. I'm terrible for grabbing my scissors. So you could trim this down and you've got a beautiful arch shape. Now you can imagine putting these side by side, slightly overlapping so that you've got them more central and having a gorgeous outline for a card there. It's very art deco, isn't it? And then you've also got the doors. So you could create things like little houses with these, with all the windows 
Um, you've kind of got a doorway there as well. So at Christmas time, you could be using this. Isn't it a beautiful die? Absolutely stunning. So let's move on. I'm just going to move straight on rather than bring you back to me because I also want to show you, we haven't got long, we've only got 10 more minutes. I also want to show you one of those beautiful background stamps and how well they stamp as well. So let's take, I'm going to go into the papers. For those of you who missed them, these are the beautiful, beautiful papers. Let's stamp onto one of these. They are gorgeous and we've got so much detail and design. Now, usually something this intricate and colorful, you wouldn't go and stamp onto, but I'm going to be stamping on this one. So it's a, the darker one, the darker sheet of them all. I just need to, oh, there it is. Look, they're so yummy, these papers. And they've got a velvet, right, don't laugh at me, but they've kind of got a velvety finish to them. <gasps> Oh, oh my goodness, I am in love. Yes, I assume you mean about the glass house die. Isn't it just so, so pretty? Absolutely beautiful. Yes, good luck everybody who's entering. I see lots of names being tagged, lots, lots of friends' names. So we've got gorgeous blue flowers in here. So, so gorgeous. Now, I mean, you could even just pop this behind. Look at that. Oh, so stunning, isn't it? So, so pretty. But I'm going to stamp onto this. Now, I am going to trim this down, first of all. Uh, I've got my create, oh, crash, that's me hitting things. I've got my creative trimmer here. So let's just take, which one shall I do? I think I will do, I was going to do the florals, but I've got an example of that on this paper. So I'm going to do the foliage instead. And I'm just going to place it as it is onto that paper there and make sure that where I'm cutting that is about where I need it. So I've now got two pieces so I can do this technique twice. In fact, I could have done it with both the foliage and the floral at the same time. But my uh, emboss, my heat gun, heat tool rather, is a little bit slow. It's not the quickest, so this will save time. We'll just do one of them. So popping that gorgeous paper into my stamping platform now because I've cut I've trimmed this down so that it just fits the stamp I'm then not able to use my magnets on it so what I'm doing instead is I'm going to place the paper there just along the line here and along the edge so if I need to reposition at any time I can do that so pop this so it's kind of central. You can always stamp and trim it down later if you prefer. So pick that stamp up. Now what I do need to do as well, this is another craft stash product, it's an anti-static bag. If you're new to stamping, this is an absolute essential for you to grab. They're only a couple of quid. They're really inexpensive, but they last such a long time. I don't think I've ever had to replace one of these. I think I've been given ones by companies uh, and that's the only reason I've changed them but I've never kind of run out of one and I do use it a lot so anti-static bag all over the paper that's just because I have very greasy hands I'm always putting hand cream on not that you can tell because they're so dry but it just means that any marks any greasy marks or anything that are on there um, that's not going to be affected when I start using my embossing powder now, what I did throw earlier was my embossing powder and embossing ink. That's what one of the crashes were today. So this is the WOW embossing pad. You can use this one, you can use a Versamark, whichever is your preferred embossing uh, ink. Doesn't have to be clear either if you prefer to use a colored one uh, so you can see where you're stamping, that's absolutely fine too because you can go in with the gold or a colored embossing powder over the top and you won't really see that color afterwards. Um, I just go with clear because it's habit. So now, as I press this down, and I said earlier about using little taps rather than going in really hard and trying to get everything done in one sort of impression, lots of little taps, my paper's staying in place, there we go, I think I've got all of that. Now because that's come over, I can just give that a rub as well. Just help make sure I've covered everywhere and peel that off. Now I can see lots of lovely juicy ink on there. Now I can put this away as it is, 
my stamp is not touching the base plate of the platform. It's lifted off. It's not until you press like that that it touches the back. So if you have got an inky stamp that you're trying to keep from, um, from you, you haven't got time to clean up and put away, but you want to put aside, you can keep it in the platform. That's what I'm trying to say. So now I just need a scrap of paper, um, either a scrap of paper or like this, a card base. This is the perfect thing for gathering your embossing powder in. And just pop that inside there like so. Try not to smudge my powder. Um, let me see, I'm just going to woo, scroll through the comments. Lots of you commenting, hello. Um, oh, lots of you tagging your friends. Don't forget everybody, if you just joined us, if you've got a friend that you can pop into a comment, Potentially you and your friend could win your share of £158 worth of paper discovery. So that's split between three people. Two of you will win in about five minutes or a couple of minutes actually. And one of you will win from a third chance, which I will give you in a moment. Now, I went a little bit eager with my embossing powder there. And you can see I've got some on my mat. I'm going to have glitter around for days I'd imagine. I'll be finding it in all sorts of places. Very often the dog has glitter on him as well. So let's just brush that away. Get the, I'll get the vacuum back out. <laughs> I'm going to anyway for those little bits of paper. There we go. Okay so you can just see that needs to be heat set now. So this is a slightly slower um, heat gun. So while we're doing this, I'll just look at some comments. Um, yeah, Mrs. Stationery and stuff never wastes anything. She always uses a sheet of paper to catch the glitter and powder. Absolutely. Um, Kathleen Baker. Yes, I love this stamping platform. It's from the Creative Craft Products range. Now, if you've not heard of Creative Craft Products before, it is a selection of products designed uh, and what's the word developed is more of the word by the in-house team at craft stash we've got an amazing product development team we spend months and months developing products to make sure that they are correct now most of the people in our office are actually crafters themselves so we know what you want what you need so for example the creative stamping platform that has so many features to it that maybe other stamping platforms will have one or two of each. We've kind of brought together everything, all the favorite elements from your favorite stamping platforms. And we do lots of surveys and research to make sure we get this right. And then once, you've, once we've decided what is needed with a stamping platform, for example, everything of that goes into the one item and it's tested, product tested so many times until we get it just right. And that's why we then come up with the Creative Craft products range. So we've got stamping platforms, scoreboards, trimmers, um, just si simple things like the low tack tape. You know, they're your essentials, but definitely come along to Craft Stash to stock up on any of those when you need them. Look at that. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? So, so pretty. It's just, it's luxurious. It's like a luxurious wallpaper, that gold with the blue. You've got the variation of the blues in there. And actually, when you look at that in the way I'm looking at it, I can see through the gold leaves. In the background, you've got those silhouettes and shadows of the gold as well. So there's all sorts there. So, so many. Right. I believe, I believe it's time to announce a winner. Okay, let's come back. We've now seen, we've seen a few of the products. You've seen how the glass house die cuts out that's this one isn't it so pretty I think for me that is the standout piece for this collection um, you've seen how the stamps and the dies work together now I showed you the foliage set but there's also the tropical um, uh, the feathered friends set as well they work together really well to create those beautiful cards let's just show you a couple with the birds on this one no 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 we've got the little cockatoo there uh, we've got the florals on this one. They just work. They're just absolutely beautiful. I love all the different designs. 
then I've shown you the background stamps as well uh, and of course the papers we've used the papers lots too so and the sentiment stamps there's so much honestly go and have a look at the tropical world it is in a comment a pinned comment fingers crossed should be there on YouTube so you can go and see um, go and see everything that's there and then you need to go back to the home page on craft stash uh, to follow that link to have a look at the 40% off items as well and use PD40 on the older items. Okay, so we have a winner. Now, the two people that are going to be winning a share of those products are going to be Louise Noah and Madeline Monroe. Congratulations. Now, Louise has said, Louise tagged Madeline. And she said, Madeline Monroe sent me my first homemade card during the first lockdown and we have become best friends talk every day since she's recovering from covid so it would be lovely for her to win that is lovely this is why we do what we do just people getting random acts of kindness i mean whether or not madeline's watching i don't know but hopefully she will catch this later if not and she will just find out she's won and that will just bring a smile to her face and make her feel much much better um louise and madeline if we can have your postal addresses uh, you can send it through to customer service at uh, craftstash.co.uk that's the email address and we will get those sent out to you alternatively you can send us a facebook message if you pop on over to there now we've got something really special coming up as well uh, i will tell you about that third chance to win in just a moment so hold on for that uh, next wednesday we have got a live i have got a live i'm so excited i've got a live i'm going up to the studio near manchester the craft stash studio i'm going to be live from there at 12 30 the usual time and i'm going to be with the lovely sheena douglas so she is going to be doing her first live 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 with me uh, and we're going to be looking at everything faber castell now sheena is a huge fan of the brand faber castell now sheena does lots of art um lots of painting and coloring and things like that you can pick up so many tips and techniques from her um, so go and have a look at that. I'm going to set the event up this afternoon on Facebook and YouTube so you can follow that or schedule it so you make sure you don't miss, you'll get a reminder and come and join us. Um, Sheena, I believe, is also going to be giving something away that she makes. So that's an extra special thing. I'll ask her to sign it as well for you. So make sure you join us for that. Thank you so many of you who have joined us over from Facebook and come over to YouTube. If you're new to YouTube watching us here, please hit the subscribe button as well so you don't miss out on any other the lives very often if either of the two platforms are going to play up it's usually going to be the facebook so it's actually more stable to uh, watch us on youtube in my opinion so i think that's everything for today except you want another chance to win some of this collection all you need to do you're watching on youtube i know you are live at the moment so all you need to do is go onto the craft stash channel when you go onto the Craft Stash channel, you'll have things like your video, the videos and things like that. There's a community tab. If you look at the community tab, you're going to see it's a bit like a news feed. So there's a bit like a um, blog post as such. There's a competition post there. It'll be right at the top and you can enter there. You won't be able to miss the details and the images. So go and check those out. And I am really looking forward to seeing you all on uh, Wednesday at 12.30 with Sheena, join us. You will, honestly, you will learn so many tips and techniques. You're going to love it. And I'm really excited as well. So see you all then, everybody. Have a lovely, fantastic weekend. Go and purchase this Paper Discovery Tropical World before it sells out, because I think this is going to be an absolute flyer, this one. Uh, and take advantage of that 40% off as well. See you soon, everybody. Take care.